Hello, everyone. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Luz. Nice to see you here on time. I'm glad, I'm glad that you are here. Are you tired? Están cansados? Like the song, right? Están cansados? No, right? <laughs> uh -huh. Even though if we are tired, well, we are gonna try to have a little fun right now because, you know, tonight we have the review from the whole unit, okay? Today we have the review. Oh, yeah, and we finished unit one tonight. Oh my God, we did it, we did it. There we go, I'm so happy for that. Cada vez que finalizamos una unidad, me pongo muy contenta. Porque los veo a todos. And I try you to feel your progress. Me gusta cuando sienten su progreso. Verdad? Hello, Debbie. We missed you yesterday. You couldn't make it. Debbie? The chat here. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, I understand, Debbie. It's okay. No problem. No problem. But thank God you could make it as a listener, okay? Good. I hope everything gets well with your mama, okay? Okay, people, we are going to start tonight. We are going to start tonight by calling the roll, okay? So let me call the roll. And I made that roll call but just let me see because someone is sending a message here oh 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 okay just remind me what's your name oh okay voy a enviar ahorita un el link de acá hoy en no cacho quién es. Miren, mientras estamos todavía en los primeros días de este curso, todavía esta semana, denme chance de aprenderme sus nombres y con su número de teléfono para ubicarlo o pónganle su nombre por ahí, porfa, porque sí, todavía me estoy así como... Oh, we can. Oh, okay. Here you are. Oh, perfect. Good. Thank God you could make it, Juan Diego. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay, Juan Diego. Okay, guys, I'm going to start with the 
attendance list. So let me go there and please turn your cameras on, those who can, except Debbie. She told me that she was not able to do it. And please say present when you listen to your name, okay? Here we go. I see there is another message here. Okay, Grecia, okay. But thanks for uh, stay connected, okay? Thank you very much for joining. Okay, let's see. Alba Janet Lopez Avalos. Present teacher. Okay. Cecia Gemima Pérez Ideos. Present, teacher. David Alejandro Choto Martínez. Present, teacher. Debbie Stephanie Ramos Ramos. Ok. Delmi Isabel Dera Salguero. Present, teacher. Ok. Uh, Daisy Carolina Sánchez Nieto. Present. Eva Leticia Contreras Argueta. Present teacher. Gracias, Tatiana Rosales Campos. Present teacher. Ok. Um, Juan Diego López Palacios. Present teacher. Linda Alicia Valladares Argueta. Present teacher. Luz Verónica Trujillo de Urbina. Present. Marco Adonai Villeda Alvarado. Present teacher. Mayra Yanira Alfaro Posada. Present teacher. Mm, uh, Melida Isabel Bonilla Ventura. Néstor Ariel Garzón Asensio. Pablo Alberto Magaña Molina. Pablo. Are you there? Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. Present teacher. Okay, okay, you're driving, so no problem. Roxana yes. Marilyn Perez Ortiz. Present teacher. Okay, don't worry, Patricia. Eyes on the road, okay? Ojos en la carretera. So, yeah. Okay, welcome everyone. We are going to, hey, Anfitrión dice Pablo, let's see. Okay, this is kind of, okay. For some reason, he wrote Amphitrion, okay? So, okay, let's see. He got me, he got me. Como dicen ahora los hipotes, vea, me trolleó. No, yo al principio no entendía, hace, ¿qué? Dos años, yo no entendía esa palabra. Y le digo, no, 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 díganme qué significa eso. O sea, pues, que se le engancharon, pues. Ah, ok. <ríe> uh, interesante, le digo. Ok, people. To tonight we have um, the review from Unit 1. And we are going to start with a little warm-up. Ok, short warm-up. And um, let me introduce the topic even though the topic is review, right? So just let me go there to show you this. Okay. Here we are. But we are going to start with 
the presentation. One moment, please. Here we go. So tonight we have the review and practice of unit one. This is our class number five, okay? This is our class number five. And the goal for tonight is that you practice all the vocabulary, okay? All the vocabulary is not only to describe routines, but we need to apply how much, how many, and um, the simple present, negative, affirmative, and for the third person and for all the pronouns, okay, I, you, we, they, um, he, she, it, okay? So we are gonna do that. Por alguna razón se mueve esto. Okay, there we go. And the agenda for tonight is that I'm, I presented the objective already and we're going to have some feedback about the work activities or work related activities. And we're going to talk about money and work perks after we're going to practice some simple present negative statements. And we are having a listening and speaking practice Okay, about daily routines, daily routines in your job and um, in someone else's um, day. Okay, and then we are going to have uh, some exercises that we have in the manual, and you are going to solve them in the breakout rooms. Okay, ahí lo vamos a resolver algunos ejercicios que, toda, que están en la página 17 y la 18, ¿verdad? De el manual, que es el review. Okay, ahorita les voy a presentar, eh, digamos, la primera actividad. Les voy a mostrar un dibujo, una silueta ahí. Y quiero que ustedes empiecen a activar el cerebro y recuerden de la primera clase el vocabulario de las actividades relacionadas al trabajo o actividades que se hacen en el trabajo. ¿okay? Vamos a ver qué idea les da cuando ustedes miran ese dibujo. Okay, here it goes, solo son tres. There are only three drawings. Here we have the first one. Mm -hmm. What idea do you have when you say this? All clients. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. What else could it be? Otra actividad que se les ocurra? Another activity? Les voy a poner una. Make calls. Okay. Que no solamente a los clientes, ¿verdad? Make calls. Uh -huh. ¿Qué otra podríamos armar? Taking calls. Very good. Taking calls. Great. ¿Qué otra actividad? Organizing meetings. Organize meetings? Yes. Okay, like if you are inviting over the phone, right? Okay. 
Okay, but related to the phone, for example, we could say answer the phone, right? Answer the phone, yeah? So here we have some activities related to our jobs, our jobs, okay? I'm going to show you the next one. Okay, voy con la siguiente. Check email. Okay. Send emails. Good. Check mm -hmm. email. Check email. Mm -hmm. Write email. Good. Send email. Good. Yes. Yes, it is over there, but it is okay. We can uh, remember the third person, right? Emails. Like she, right? She sends emails. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bien, ahora... ¿Ustedes saben cómo se dice responder el email? No, teacher. Ok. Eh, normalmente responder sería como answer, ¿verdad? Pero en el lenguaje tecnológico de los emails se llama reply. Ok. Reply emails. Ok. Reply emails. Esa la aprendimos hoy. Miren, reply emails. En todo caso, para la tercera persona, ¿cómo sería ese verbo reply? reply. Digamos, ajá. Can you spell it? Can you spell it, please? Reply er. R E P A E S L I E S. Okay. Replies. She replies. He replies. It replies. Emails. Okay. There you are. Very good. So now let's go to the next one. Meetings. Ok. ¿Cuál sería la acción acá? Armemos la actividad con el verbo. Vamos a ver. Podría ser take part in a conference. Uh, ¿Otra vez? ¿Otra vez? ¿Otra vez? Eh, es pause in the conversation. Es como Expose una conferencia. Pause at the conference. Like this. Ok. Ok, could be, could be. Pero según el, el vocabulario que tenemos, en la, que tuvimos en la primera clase, vimos eh, organize. Remember? Organize. Meetings. meetings, ok. Organize meetings. ¿Qué, ¿Qué otra actividad podemos hacer relacionadas con esto? Vamos a ver. Attend meetings. Attend meetings. Good. <laughs> Attend meetings. Good. Mm -hmm. Perfect. You see, these are activities and we are just um, refreshing some vocabulary from unit one. Okay, we're gonna go to another activity. Primero, les voy a poner, permítanme, voy a dejar de compartir por un momento. Okay.
Bien. Como hemos visto, los verbos en tercera persona, ¿verdad? Y la conjugación de los verbos. Además, hemos visto las actividades que hacemos en el trabajo. Además, ustedes ya tienen un backup de las rutinas diarias. Hemos visto eh, expresiones de tiempo o time expressions. Entonces, vamos a escuchar a una persona. Her name is Jackie. Ok. Vamos a hablar. Esta persona va a hablar de esta señora que se llama Jackie y cuál es su rutina. What's her routine? Ok. Let's listen to the audio y después vamos a leerlo. Ok. Primero vamos a escuchar. Everybody please pay attention. Ubiquen la, la pronunciación de los verbos en, con, con la letra S. Ok. Al final. One moment. Se me cerró. Compartir. Ahorita va. Me dicen, por favor, si se escucha. Jackie is very busy. She gets up at 6 a.m. on weekdays. Then she brushes her teeth and gets dressed. After that, She has a quick breakfast and goes to the gym. After the gym, she takes a shower and gets dressed to go to work. Then she drives to work. She gets to work at 9 a.m. At work, she has meetings, makes phone calls, and prepares documents. At 1 p.m., she has lunch. Sometimes, she has business lunches with her clients. After lunch, she goes back to work. She finishes work around 7 p.m. Then she goes home. She gets home around 8 p.m. She has dinner, watches TV, and sometimes she likes to read. After that, she takes a shower and goes to bed around 11 p.m. What time does Jackie have lunch? Okay. Esa es una de las preguntas que les voy a hacer. A ver. Escuchamos la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Es, escuchamos la pronunciación de los verbos. ¿ya? ¿Qué verbos recuerdan que, de las actividades que ella hace? Brush, brush your teeth. Brushes her teeth. Uh -huh. ¿Qué otra? Mm -hmm. So you said brushes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lo volvemos a escuchar. Yes. Okay. Yes, please. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay, here we go. We have to go all the way here, but we this is worth it. Mm -hmm. Listen. Jackie is very busy. She gets up at 6 a.m. on weekdays. 
Then she brushes her teeth and gets dressed. After that, she has a quick breakfast and goes to the gym. After the gym, she takes a shower and gets dressed to go to work. Then she drives to work. She gets to work at 9 a.m. At work, she has meetings, makes phone calls, and prepares documents. At 1 p.m., she has lunch. Sometimes, she has business lunches with her clients. After lunch, she goes back to work. She finishes work around 7 p.m. Then, she goes home. She gets home around 8 p.m. She has dinner, watches TV, and sometimes she likes to read. After that, she takes a shower and goes to bed around 11 p.m. Okay. Sometimes she likes to read books. Huh? She called clients, did you say? Uh -huh. Oh, ¿Qué nos oh falta I ahí? say. The letter S. Yes. There you are. Uh -huh. What other activity do you remember from uh, Jackie's routine? She goes to the gym. Good. Sorry. She finishes work at 7 p.m. Okay. Great, you get a lot of details here. So now we are go I'm going to show you the reading, okay? I'm going to show you the reading and you are going to read along, okay? Um, read along significa que usted va escuchando y va leyendo, okay? Yeah. Here, and I will show you in this other way. Here we go. Okay, this is Jackie. Okay, <laughs> I'm introducing her. Okay, she is Jackie. So let's listen. Jackie is very busy. She gets up at 6 a.m. on weekdays. Then she brushes her teeth and gets dressed. After that, she has a quick breakfast and goes to the gym. After the gym, she takes a shower and gets dressed to go to work. Then she drives to work. She gets to work at 9 a.m. At work, she has meetings, makes phone calls, and prepares documents. At 1 p.m., she has lunch. Sometimes she has business lunches with her clients. After lunch, she goes back to work. She finishes work around 7 p.m. Then she goes home. She gets home around 8 p.m. She has dinner, watches TV, and sometimes she likes to read. After that, she takes a shower and goes to bed around 11 p.m. Okay. Now... Can you identify the activities? Only the activities. Mm -hmm. She gets up at 6 a.m. The other is she brushes her teeth, get dressed, gets dressed. Another activity? Si, si miran la pantalla? 
Yes, yes, teacher. Ok. Identifiquemos entonces las actividades que ella hace. Solo las actividades. She take, takes a shower. Ok. She drives to work. Correct. She has meetings. Excellent. Go to the gym. Okay, good. Prepares documents. Great. She prepares documents. Good. Mm -hmm. Dress to the work. Okay. Uh, you said drives to work. Drives to work. Okay, great. She drives to work. She has business lunches with her clients. Great. Mm -hmm. What does she do after lunch? What does she do after lunch? At uh, 1 p.m. Okay, but what does she do after lunch? ¿Qué hace después de almorzar? What does she do after lunch? She goes back to work. She goes back to work. Finish okay. work around. Okay, good, good. Ahora, escuchemos las preguntas que tenemos acá, okay? Y las contestamos. Vamos a ver. What time does Jackie have lunch? What time does Jackie have lunch? She has lunch, lunch at 1 p.m. At 1 p.m. Very good. Let's listen to the second question. Jackie has lunch at 1 p.m. Does Jackie finish work at 6 p.m.? Does Jackie finish work at 6 p.m.? No, she finished work around 7 p.m. Okay, let's listen to the answer here. No, she doesn't. She finishes work around 7 p.m. Okay, there you are. Jackie is very busy. There you are. So now we are going to read along again, and then we are going to go to the next activity, okay? Solo lo oímos y leemos la última vez y nos vamos a la siguiente actividad. Jackie is very busy. She gets up at 6 a.m. on weekdays. Then she brushes her teeth and gets dressed. After that, she has a quick breakfast and goes to the gym. After the gym, she takes a shower and gets dressed to go to work. Then she drives to work. She gets to work at 9 a.m. At work, she has meetings, makes phone calls, and prepares documents. At 1 p.m., she has lunch. Sometimes, she has business lunches with her clients. After lunch, she goes back to work. She finishes work around 7 p.m. Then, she goes home. She gets home around 8 p.m. She has dinner, watches TV, and sometimes, she likes to read. After that, she takes a shower and goes to bed around 11 p.m. Okay, there we are. So now, the next activity is that you please think about the activities that you do in the morning, only in the morning, like your daily routine in the morning, okay? So I'm going to start asking, okay? I'm going, just let me stop sharing. A ver, todos pensando en sus actividades de la mañana. Bien.
One second. And the question is, what do you do on weekdays? Okay, what do you do on weekdays? Mornings, okay, mornings, yeah. Aquí unimos las dos eh, expresiones de tiempo, okay? What do you do on weekdays mornings? Aquí sería on weekdays and in the morning. Si las unimos, okay, va a quedar what do you do on weekdays mornings? Okay? Okay? So I'm going to ask, Mayra, what do you do on weekday mornings? Es lo que hice este día en la mañana, ¿verdad? Eh, no, durante los días de semana por las mañanas. Ah, ok. Um, ¿Usual? Yes, like a routine. Things that you always do, right? Usually do. Usually have a transaction bancari. Usually. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat Trans that, please? Transferencia bancari. Of transacciones bancari. Okay. Say Trans it in English like I make, I make, I make bank, bank transfers. Transfer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Usually I make bank transfers. Good. Thank you very much. Now, one activity. What do you do on weekday mornings, Marco? Um, for example, I take my breakfast. At, okay. How do you say? Alrededor de. Around. 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 Okay. Hmm? I take my breakfast around... 6 around 6 a.m. Yes, yes. Okay. Good. Okay, Nestor, what do you do on weekday mornings? In the morning. Yes, on weekdays. Weekdays. I I watch TV in uh in the morning. Yes. Very good. Okay, thank you very much, Nestor. Juan Diego, what do you do on weekday mornings? I I prepare my breakfast. Okay. Good. Now let's see. Alba, what do you do on weekday mornings? Perdón, teacher, que no me daba la opción de desactivar el micrófono. Ok. Eh, I get dresses. Okay. I get dressed. There you are. Ok, thank you very much. Tell me, what do you do on weekday mornings? I always take a shower. Ok. Excellent. Uh, Luz, what do you do on weekday mornings? Uh, I make a 
I prepared my breakfast. Ok, ahí. Uh, en este caso usamos un solo verbo. En este eh, momento podría ser prepare, right? Prepare. Prepare my breakfast. Good. There you are. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Linda, what did you do on weekday mornings? Um, I work from 6 a.m. Okay. Very good. Very good. Here we are just... A.m. Um, from 6 a.m. 6 p.m.? No, 6 a.m. Así está bien. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. Okay, you see, right now we tried and we did it. So we're going to go to the next topic. Okay. Ahorita hemos practicado eh, time expressions, activities, and uh, so um, we are going to pass to the next um, topic just to remind some um, vocabulary that we studied about money and also we are going to mix a little or rather okay we are going to mix a little yeah here we go vamos a ver unas oraciones en esta tablita que van a ver ahorita. En esa tablita lo que hay son alrededor de ocho o nueve oraciones por ahí. Y tienen algunas, tienen error. Ok. Some of them has mistakes. Have mistakes, I'm sorry. So, we have to read them all. And correct a mistake, okay? We need to correct a mistake. Let's see. I have a problem with this thing. Does it move? Here we are. Okay, let's talk about personal finances or money and work perks. Do you remember what work perks are? ¿Qué son work perks? ¿Qué son los work perks, guys? A ver. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Qué son los work perks? Aquí lo tenemos. Work perks. ¿Qué eran los work perks? The benefits. Okay. okay. Yes, job benefits. Excellent. So now we have to find the mistakes in these sentences. Let's read the first one. I look for a job because I need to earn money. Is it correct or is it incorrect? Los errores todos van a estar en el verbo. Recuerden que seguimos con el verbo, ¿verdad? Present simple. Do you see if uh, the number one is correct? Here we go. 
I look for a job because I need to earn money. Está correcto, ¿verdad? Is it correct? Yes. Okay. Number two. David had 15 days on his vacations. The verb is has. Okay. Yeah. Has, right? Good. Number three. Is it correct or incorrect? Grecia. Is words, words. Okay, good. Number four. Esta ya es un poquito más complicadita, ¿ok? Private sector companies pay for salaries and benefits. ¿Es plural o es singular? El sujeto. Singular. 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 Yeah. A ver, veamos. ¿Cuál no. es el sujeto ahí? Plural. Ajá. Private sector. Private sector. Uh -huh. Private sector companies, right? Private Private sector companies. Completo es el sujeto. Está hablando de las compañías del sector privado. ¿ok? Private sector companies. Ahora, ¿está en plural o está en singular? Plural. Ok, it's in plural. ¿Sí? Si no, si estuviera en singular aquí fuera así. Company. ¿Ya? Yeah. Pero dice así. Oh, ok, great. Yes. Pay is correct. Yes. Pay is correct because it's for plural. Ok, number five. Number five. Secretaries make 545 monthly in this company. Is it correct or incorrect? The verb. Conjugación del verbo. Incorrect. Is it correct? Incorrect. Incorrect? incorrect. Why is it incorrect? Tell me. Explain me. Because uh, the secretary is in plural and make in singular. Ok, well, cuando conjugamos el verbo de manera singular, entonces es que le agregamos la S, ok, makes. Ese es para si fuera una sola secretaria, ok, pero como son todas las secretarias, ¿verdad? Secretaries make, así está correcto, ok, that's correct. Do you agree, qué? guys? Porque... Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Si aquí dijera solo una, right? Secretary. Yeah. It's she, right? Or he, if it is a secretary, he, right? So, ahí entonces yo conjugaría el verbo en tercera persona. Pero como está en plural, ya, yeah, todas las secretarias, right, o los secretarios, ya, yeah, make, ya, yeah, hacen 545 dólares mensuales en esta compañía, ¿verdad? Ahora sí. Yes. Ok. Ok. Number six. Number six. A ver, sales representatives call clients on Sundays to get an extra bonus. 
¿Está correcto el sujeto y el verbo ahí? La conjugación de este verbo call, ¿está correcto? ¿De qué estamos hablando acá? ¿De sales representatives? Son los vendedores, ¿verdad? Son los vendedores de la compañía. What do they do? They call clients on Sundays to get an extra bonus. ¿Está en plural o está en singular? El sujeto. En plural, ¿verdad? Entonces el verbo está correcto, ¿verdad? Entonces el verbo está correctamente conjugado. Vamos a ver el número 7. Let's go to see number 7. And this job, you have social security and paid vacations. ¿Está correcto acá el verbo? El verbo principal, ¿cuál es? Have. Have. ¿Cuál es el sujeto? El sujeto es... You. ¿Ok? ¿Está correcto? Sí, ¿verdad? Sí está correcto. You have social security and paid vacation. Ahora, miren estas, estas expresiones. Ya esto es extra, ¿verdad? En this job puede ir al final y no cambia el significado de la oración. Si lo leemos diferente, you have social security and paid vacations in this job. ¿Ok? Y no cambia, ¿verdad? No cambia el significado de la oración. Correcto. Aquí lo que estamos viendo nada más es la conjugación del verbo si está correcta o incorrecta de acuerdo al sujeto. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver. Number eight. I... Write a report and prepare financial documents every Monday. ¿Está correcto? What do you see? Necesito que me digan, chicos. I feel I'm alone here. <laughs> Me siento solita. Lo que estamos viendo son los verbos, ¿sí? Y las actividades, right? For me, teacher is correct. Okay, yes, it is correct because the subject is I, right? So I write, correcto. And prepare. Good. Let's see number nine. Number nine. What do you think? Gasoline cost three dollars and eighty-six cents per gallon today. Cost is correct. Uh, no, for me, it's no. Okay. ¿Cómo sería entonces? Eh, gasoline costs. Costs. Ok. Costs. costs. Good. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. It's here. There you are. Costs. ¿Correcto? ¿Sí se entiende? ¿Hay alguna pregunta acerca de esto? Does anybody have a question? About the conjugation and the third person of verbs? No questions. No teacher. No questions? Okay. Ahora nos pide acá, transform into negative. Okay. Transform into negative. Veamos. Para los pronombres, I, you, We and they, en la primera clase, aprendimos que le agregamos don't para decir que no, ¿verdad? Antes del verbo. Y para he, she, it, 
le agregamos doesn't antes del verbo. Y cuando le agregamos doesn't, no cambia el verbo. ¿Sí? ¿Estamos? Vamos a ver. Number one, let's transform this sentence. Transformemos esta oración. I don't look for a job because I need to earn money. Good. I don't look for a job because I don't need to earn money. There you are. Excellent. Bien, ya hicimos la primera, ¿sí? Ya hicimos la primera. Vamos a ver la segunda. Es tercera persona, ¿ok? Es tercera persona. El verbo es have, ¿correcto? Vamos a ver. El sujeto es David. Uh -huh. Excellent. Doesn't. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Doesn't. Have. Have. 15 days. Okay. Muy bien. Doesn't have 15 days on his in his vacations. There you are. Number three. Grecia doesn't mm -hmm. work five days a week. Excellent. There you are. Number four. If we wait, sector company. Doesn't pay their salaries and benefits. Okay, good. Number five. Secretary doesn't make okay. Doesn't, doesn't or don't want. Uh -huh. Don't. ¿Por qué? Porque es plural, ¿verdad? Secretaries don't make $545 monthly in this company. Okay. Number six. Representatives. 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 Don't call clients on Sunday to get an extra money. Excellent. Good. Number seven. 
in this job don't have both social security and pay education. Okay. Number eight. I don't write a report. Voy a revisar. Sí, fíjese que, fíjese que nos adelantaron un mes. Pues no se va a entregar en enero, sino que hoy en diciembre se va a entregar. Hello. Okay, you can reactivate your um your mics, guys. Okay. Por favor, pongámosle cuidado ahí a sus audios. Okay. Bien. Let's see. I don't write a report. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. In this case. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ah, se lo voy a decir en español. <laughs> okay. En la pregunta 8, por, en la oración número 8, por ejemplo, está hablando sobre dos verbos. Entonces, solo digo una vez, don't, o es necesario que diga, I don't write a report, I don't prepare financial documents. Ok, a este nivel que estamos no hay ningún problema si repetimos don't, ok. Aquí podemos decir, I don't write a report and, I'm sorry, and I don't prepare, ok. Y es correcto, ok. Más adelante vamos a ver otra figura en donde unimos las dos cosas en la forma negativa. Ok, pero por el momento la podemos eh, de repetir correctamente así. Esto es correcto. I don't write a report and I don't prepare financial documents every Monday. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Good. Ok. Good. And number nine. Gasoline. Uh -huh. no. uh -huh. Excellent. Eh, como hablamos un poquito más fluido, vamos a contractar, ¿verdad? Doesn't. Uh -huh. Cost. Good. Three dollars. Uh -huh. Coins. Okay, no. cents. 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 Uh huh. Per gallon. Today. Today. Excellent. You see, estas ya son un poquito más complicadas de las que vimos en el ejemplo en las primeras dos clases, ¿verdad? Pero ya ven que es la misma regla, ¿verdad? Para decir, aunque sea larga la oración, aunque el sujeto sea así como largo, identificamos si es singular, si es plural, y así es como vamos a conjugar la forma negativa. Don't and doesn't, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? ¿Estamos bien hasta aquí? Are we okay so far? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Great. So let's go now to the manuals. Teacher. Yes, tell uh, me. Um, and question. Um, Spanish la night? La, número nueve. Ajá. Es que, ¿por qué le ponen peor, peor después de 386? Ah. 
pair significa eh, cada galón o por galón. No es for. No, 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 no. Ahí no entra for. Mm -mm. Ah. Aquí entraría pair o podríamos solo decir a gallon. Ok. Cualquiera ah. de las dos. A gallon or per gallon. Yeah. Ahí no entra for. Ok. No more questions? No more questions here? Okay. I'm going to start sharing and we are going to the page 17 in your manuals, okay? We are going over there. Y vamos a empezar los um, ejercicios para que ustedes practiquen. Vamos a ir haciéndolos a su tiempo y a su ritmo, okay? Solo voy a tomar la asistencia antes de irnos. Y después de tomar la asistencia, vamos a explicar, los vamos a ver los ejercicios, ¿ok? Y luego se van al breakout room y todos a escribir y a practicar tal como el manual lo, los tiene, los ejercicios, ¿ok? Bien. Just let me take the attendance. Alba Yanet López Ávalos. Present. Okay. Cecia Gemima Pérez Cideos. Present. David Alejandro Choto Martínez. Debbie Stephanie Ramos Ramos. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Delmi Isabel Dera Salguero. Present. Daisy Carolina Sánchez Nieto. Present. Eva Leticia Contreras Argueta. Present, teacher. Grecia Tatiana Rosales Campos. Yeah, I remember, Grecia. Juan Diego López Palacios. Present. Thank you. Linda Alicia Valladares Argueta. Present teacher. Luz Verónica Trujillo de Urbina. Present. Marco Adonai Villeda Alvarado. Present teacher. Mayra Yanira Alfaro Posada. Present teacher. Melida Isabel Bonilla Ventura. Present. Ok. Eh, Néstor Ariel Garzón Asensio. Present teacher. Okay. Pablo Alberto Magaña Molina. Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. Present teacher. Okay. Roxana Marilyn Pérez Ortiz. Present teacher. Okay, there we are. So now we are going over here. One second, it's moving this way. Okay, we go to page 17. And there we have um, two activities over there, okay? For some reason, it's not working. Okay, here we go. We have the first activity, the instruction says, read the sentences and fill in the blanks with many or much. 
Okay. Many or much. Ustedes leen a ver cuál le queda mejor. Si es contable o no es contable. Y ustedes le van poniendo ahí much or many. Luego, you have to write a six line paragraph about the events and activities you and your classmate do in a company or in your company. En este caso, ustedes tienen ahí con un compañero de trabajo, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a hacerlo así, ¿ok? Ustedes la escriben, sus seis líneas, quiere decir que son alrededor de seis actividades, seis oraciones, ¿verdad? Acerca de sus actividades y eventos que hacen en su trabajo. Pueden dividirlo in the morning, at noon, in the evening, ¿ok? Pueden dividirlo así para que les salga dos, dos y dos, ¿verdad? Va ubicándolos. Y luego ustedes platican acerca de esas cosas, ¿ok? No vamos a hacerlo de que van a ser eh, de dos personas, no. Solo el suyo y luego ustedes platican, ¿sí? Lo van a estar haciendo junto con su compañero para que se ayuden entre ustedes, ¿ok? Are we okay with the instructions? Ok. Ok. So page 17, two activities. Okay, acaba. Hello, Cecia. Hello, teacher. Yo creo que Pablo no puede contestar. Ah, okay. Contestar. ok, la voy a cambiar de sala hoy. Ah, okay, la voy teacher. a cambiar de sala. Luego vamos a los chicos acerca de esto, ¿ok? Ok.
Vaya. Aquí estamos, Cecia. Ok, gracias. Eh, eh, habíamos hecho solo una, una actividad que era una de cada una. Yo le había puesto I get up eh, every day 5 a.m. Ok. Eh, I take a shower. Mm -hmm. eh, y, y luego I go to work. Uh -huh. Y puede usted elegir su actividad. Uh, Yo ya estaba ya solita y había puesto <risa> I get up at 5 a.m. Eh, I visit a client y I drink a coffee around 7 a.m. Ok, había hecho tres. Ajá, había hecho tres durante la mañana. Bueno, yo pondría la segunda. I try, try to my work. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Serían las dos de la mañana. Ok. Entonces pasamos a la mediodía. Excuse me, Eva. Did you say that you drive to work at 2 a.m.? ¿Perdón? Serían las dos de la mañana, me dijo. Dijo. I, I don't know. Uh, that's what I heard. No, las dos no. actividades de la mañana. Ajá. Oh. <laughs> Ay, no. Oh, my God. You Ay, work from 2 a.m. Oh, my no. God. Ok, ok, ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ahora serían las dos del mediodía. Ah. Uh -huh. uh, I take my lunch. No. I uh, eat, eat me. my lunch. Okay, yo after lunch, uh, I help my student in his homework. You see? Mm -hmm. okay. Good. Mm -hmm. I help my students, students and his homework. Okay. And It's or homework. with, with homework. Mm -hmm. Okay. para decir, este, bueno, que en la hora del almuerzo reviso redes sociales. Okay, then I check my social media. Okay. Mm -hmm. Check my social media. Mm -hmm. okay. And... En mi caso sería, I get a church at 6 p.m. Esa sería la de la tarde. De la tarde, ajá. Ah, ok. Como yo salgo casi a las 7 de la noche del trabajo. ¿Hay work? <ríe> ah, I would think from 2 a.m. to 7 p.m. Oh, my God. <ríe> yeah, I got confused. Uh, I'm tired. <ríe> yeah. You, when do you sleep, right? Yeah. <ríe> uh, <ríe> um, In the afternoon, I read my favorite book. Mm -hmm. In the afternoon, I hago toda mi tarea, my homework. Okay, I do. I do my homework. I do my homework because I'm studying university. Actually. <laughs> So you are working, you are studying at university, and you are having this course. Yes. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. this is a marvel. Mm -hmm. 
teacher, y ah. podríamos finalizar ya en la, con las dos actividades de la noche. Oh. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh, creo que no comprendí ahorita, creo que me dice, ¿puede finalizar con? O sea, le faltan solo las dos de la noche, porque llevamos de la mañana. <laughs> you see, I'm getting... Mm, then I oh. thought, no, we have a lot of dos, activities dos to do. <laughs> oh, no, ustedes chicas sí que me agarraron entre las dos, así, pa, pa, pa. <laughs> yeah. Uh, y yo todavía le digo, sí, sí, right. <laughs> sí, no, no. <laughs> yeah, you got me. Okay, <laughs> yes, you, you may write two more activities thinking about the evening, right? Mm hmm Yes. Okay. Okay. La primera actividad. Ajá, diga. La primera actividad que hay que hacer también, donde del menu, a much. Okay. Hay que complementar. Yes, you have to mm -hmm. write, if it is correct to write many, then you write many. And if you think that it's an uncountable noun, then you write much, okay? Yeah. Okay. One, money is in a bank. It's many how, or much? How much money? Much. Okay. How much money is in a bank? For two, paper does a printer need many. Yo le puse many, how many? How many Many. Hours a day does the work. How many hours a day does to work? Habla de horas, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. How many? Um, number four. How much information how much? is on the internet? Yes. So much. So much. Um, five. Uh, how many? How many? How many days a week do you rest? Yes. How many? Yeah. How many? Um, Oh. How many times? How many? Mm -hmm. How many employees? employees. Yeah. Many. That's your company have. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Finish. <laughs> Finish. <laughs> Okay, that's good. So we're going to go to the main room. I stayed with you because um, uh, Cecia was alone. So I stayed with you for her to work with you, okay? okay. That's why I stayed. Mm -hmm. Not for all on teacher. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so we're going to the main room now, okay? okay. One second.
Okay, everyone. Now, we're gonna see, uh, we want to listen to uh, Daisy. Daisy, please. Vamos a hacer después la número uno, ahorita vamos a hacer la número dos, okay? Así que vamos a ver, Daisy, please tell us about your activities, your daily activities. In the morning, I prefer to go to my colleagues. And the other, in the morning, <laughs> I check my emails. At noon, I eat my lunch with my partners. At noon, I play emails. In the evening, I go to home. At night, I watch TV with my children. Okay, great. Uh, solo en go home, no ponemos to. Solo go home. Okay, no decimos go okay. to home. Great, <laughs> great. Now, we want to listen to... Alba, please. Um, I make reports. I make calls. I check email. I reply emails. I go to the meetings. I, I go home. Okay, good, good. Now, if you think about the time during the day, it could be in the morning, in the evening, right? In the afternoon, para saber más o menos a cuando hace esa, esas actividades, ¿verdad? Okay, for example, you say, I make reports when? In the morning? When do you, do, when do you make the reports? In the morning. Okay, then I make reports in the morning, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. This okay. is to, eso es para ubicar al que escucha, ¿verdad? En qué momento del día hago mis actividades. Y la pregunta, remember, what do you do in your job, right? Or what do you do on weekdays, remember? Hay otras tres preguntas que probablemente ya las conocen es what's your daily routine okay what's your daily routine y lo que ustedes me están diciendo ahorita es una buena respuesta para cualquiera de esas preguntas okay what do you do what do you do on weekdays what's your daily routine okay Ustedes pueden contestar exactamente las actividades que me están diciendo. ¿Correcto? Ok, we want to listen to Marco. Sorry, teacher. Sorry. Ok, tell us about your activities, your daily activities. My daily activities in my work or... or... Marco, uh, didn't you stay in the... ¿Con quién trabajó, Marco? Uh, con Delmi. Ok. Eh, ¿Cómo hicieron esa actividad ustedes? La segunda actividad. Eh, activities on our work, work. Work. Ok. Then tell us about your six activities that you wrote. Ok. Or the six uh, lines that you wrote. How do you say hicimos tres y tres? <laughs> oh, okay, then tell us the three that you wrote. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. For example, um, in my case, every day, I prepare um, to evidence at internal control. Oh, yes, yeah, internal control. Um, number two, I prepare ev evidence um, Say muestra, muestra requerida, teacher. Samples? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. I prepare a, a samples every day because examine uh, the con contract and documents. Okay. The, of client, of clients. Okay. 
And number team, number three, sorry. Almost two, um, no, 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 no. Every day, um, pre I prepare information uh, for, para informar results, what do you say? Informar resultados? To present the results. Uh, to present, sorry, what? To present the results. To present the result. Yes, the results. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, Se lo voy a escribir acá en el chat. Okay. Más fácil a que vaya a compartir the board, but it is okay. It is to... The results. Like this. To present the results. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay, Thanks. good, good, good. Thank you very much, Marco. So now we want to listen to Roxana, please. Tell us about your daily activities. Okay. I get up very early, uh, usually 5 a.m. I go to work after lunch. Uh, I help my student in his homework. In the afternoon, I read my favorite book. Mm, and I have dinner with my family. Okay, good. Good, that's in the evening. Good, good. Hay algunas cositas, pero las vamos a ir puliendo a medida va avanzando el curso, okay? Now, let's see. Okay. okay. Um, Cecia, please. Tell us about your daily activities. Okay. Uh, I get up at 5 a.m. I drink a coffee around 7 a.m. I visit a client for the rest of the morning. Okay. I make a lunch at noon. I finish my work at 5 p.m. I get, get a charge at 6 p.m. Okay. I get church or I arrive to church, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Luz, what do you do in your job every day? Um, take attendance, check quality, organize meetings, take a breakfast, in the afternoon, I check a project projection. Okay, good, good. Excellent. Excellent. Now we want to listen to Nestor. What do you do every day, Nestor? Okay. In the morning, uh, I, I check. Uh, all the reports that we have with with uh, with the employees. Um, uh, and I check the emails because I work in uh, with uh, social networks. Okay. And the afternoon, uh, I attend a meeting. Okay. Uh, I organize uh, meetings and at evening, well, I have a, a university, university class, okay. then at night I have class with you. That's Okay, that's good, <laughs> good. So look at this, everybody please remember the expressions when we talk about time, remember. In the morning, 
in the afternoon, in the evening, okay? And then we say at night, yep, at midnight, at noon, and at the specific time, okay? Acordémonos siempre que utilizamos in the, in the morning, in the afternoon, okay? Okay. In the evening. Es muy importante que recordemos así la frase. In the morning, I get up at 6 a.m., okay? In the morning, I prepare or I supervise or I do this or that, okay? In the morning. In the morning. Yeah. And then we say in the afternoon, okay? In the afternoon, I, whatever I have to do, I prepare documents, I write reports, I call clients, I visit clients. I call okay? clients. I call clients in the evening, okay? In the evening, I finish work. Okay, I clean up my work area. Okay, my I office. send emails. Okay, I send uh, emails. I send invitations. So whatever you do, but remember to place everything in time. Okay, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night, at midnight, mm -hmm. at noon. Okay. okay, I have lunch at noon. Okay. Okay. So it's important this. It's important. Bien, vamos a hacer un recordatorio. Nos vamos a ir a un cuadrito que no hemos leído eh, de nuestro manual acerca de how much. Okay. And how many. And that's in. Solo déjenme llegar ahí. And page sixteen, okay. Everybody goes to pay go. Uh, please, everybody go. Wait to page 16, I'm sorry, because I am I have some of your classmates that are having trouble tonight to make this class. One second, they are sending. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, it was, uh, about the class too, okay? So let me go there. So here we are. Here we have some examples just to remember. Today we're just reviewing, okay? So when we use how many, we are counting or requesting for an amount, okay? Or a number, right? Because we use how many with countable nouns, okay? We use how many for countable nouns. This, this is the way to use how many and how much. So now we are reading these box. How many for countable nouns like, these are examples, hours, days, weeks, years. And there we have two examples. Do you want to read please Marco the examples that we have right here for how many? 
Okay. Um, examples. Yes, these two examples, two sentences. Okay. Um, number one. How many days a week do you rest? In my case, um, I rest two two days a week. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you very much for answering, for answering. We were just reading, but it's okay. It's okay. Thank you very much for being proactive and answering the okay. question. Okay, so how many days a week do you rest? And you said two, right? Yes, yes, two. Two days a week. Are they the weekends? Are they on the weekends? Weekends, weekends, weekends. Okay, weekends. So Saturdays and Sundays, right? Okay, then, uh, could you please read the second sentence, Nestor? Uh, how many hours a day do you work? I work eight hours. Okay, great, great. So you work eight hours as the law command, right? Como la ley manda, right? Yes, yes, yes. So, okay, okay. Now, I'm going to ask now, how many days a week do you rest? Rest is descansar, okay? Yes. Cuando hablamos de rest, podemos estar hablando de days off, okay? Days off. Vamos a, se los voy a anotar acá. Cuando les preguntan, how many days a week do you rest? Then they are requesting about the days of sus días libres. Okay? Days of. Correct. Days of. So, how many days of do you have? How many days off do you have? Let's see, Eva, how many days off do you have? Only Sunday. Okay, one day, right? Only okay. Sunday, great. Thank you very much. Daisy, how many days a week do you rest? Have two days. Okay, I have two days off. Correct? Y ahí va saliendo la respuesta, okay? How many days a week do you rest, Roxana? I read two days. Okay, I rest. two days a week, okay? So let's see, Patricia, how many days a week do you rest? Only I rest um, on weekends. Okay. Good. Aquí sonaría bien bonito también si dijera, I have weekends off. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have weekends off. Okay. Esta es otra manera de que lo pueda decir. Mire, Patricia. Okay. I have weekends off. For example, Marco said the same thing, right? So he can say, I have weekends off. Okay, Marco. Yes, teacher. Okay, now let's see. How many days a week do you rest, uh, Luz? It's not Luz Ian, right? <laughs> okay. Mm. I rest mm -hmm. 
in two days o weekend, a weekend. Ok, podemos decirlo así, mire. Podemos decirle, I rest on weekends or I have weekends off. Otra manera de contestar. Si solo, en este caso dice, how many days a week do you rest? Entonces, esta primera respuesta es correcta. Mire, I have two days off. Ok, Luz, how many days a week do you rest? I have two days off. Excellent. I have two days off. Good. Eva, how many days a week do you rest? <laughs> how many days a week do you rest? One day, I I rest one day. Oh. Yeah, you told me that, right? So I I rest on uh, one day a week. Okay, I rest one day a week. Okay, now we have the idea about this and let's go to see about how much. When or how do we use how much? Uh, we use how much for uncountable nouns. And here we have some examples, right? Mo money, time, right? Money is uncountable. So we say how much money do they pay per extra hour, right? How much money do they pay per extra hour? And number two, it says, how much time do we have? Así que les vamos a preguntar, how much time do we have? How much time do we have? 10 minutes. Okay, good. We have 10 minutes. Good, we have 10 minutes. It's almost done, it's almost done, okay? Good, good. Do you have any question so far? No. Everything clear? Clear, teacher. Clear, okay, okay, then. Bien. Can I stop sharing? I want to see your faces right now. Okay, there you are. Vamos a ir entonces a la plataforma. Okay. El día de hoy tienen que estar terminadas todas las tareas. Ok, así que vamos a la plataforma y revisamos ahorita las tareas de la sección 1. ¿Ya? Voy a abrir esto. Estaba revisando la discusión o las pre la pregunta que les hice y solo cinco habían entrado a hacerlo. Así que necesito que por favor todos participen ahí, ¿verdad? Here we are. So, homework number one. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Here we are. This is multiple choice, okay? Multiple, multiple choice, and you have to select the correct form of the verb, okay? 
the correct form of the verb. ¿Qué es lo que se necesita acá? Lo que estábamos haciendo al principio, ¿verdad? Conjugar el verbo correctamente de acuerdo al pronombre, ¿verdad? O al sujeto, si es singular, si es plural, o sea, si es tercera persona o si es otro de, lo, de las personas, ¿verdad? Are you, we, they, o si es he, she, it. Ok, veamos solo para chequear un poquito, ok. What's the answer for number one? It says, I, mm -hmm, in the morning. Take a shower. Ok, it will be this one, right? Yes. Ok, now. Number two, my boss mm -hmm, emails sends. every day. Sends email every day. With the letter S, right? At the yes. end. Okay. Everybody, please. I need to hear everybody. Number three, my co-workers. Has meeting on Friday. Are you sure? Uh, everybody we agrees? Have, 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 have. have. okay, because it's plural, right? Yes, okay, yes. there yes. you are. Number four. The secretary usually the arrives. The secretary usually arrives. Arrive. Right. Okay. With the letter S, right? Arrives. Yes. Because it's the third person. It's like if we say she or he, right? Number five, uh, we work. never oh, we can work on oh, weekend. Okay, work on weekend. Weekend. Weekends. Weekend. Okay, vamos a, a ver si todo estaba correcto. Okay, um, and we're going to submit and Yay, guys, you are such a great group. You are such a great group. Excellent, the 20 points. Bien, ¿hay alguna pregunta acerca de la tarea 1? Do you have any question about homework 1? No? Okay, then let's go and check number 2. Let's check homework 2. Okay. It says, multiple choice, select the correct time expression. Mm -hmm. Number one, what is the answer? What do you think is the answer? Uh, every day. Every day. Okay. Yes, I because, because we cannot take a shower every minute, right? So. Yeah. I take a shower. Times a year, so right? Oh well, I <laughs> imagine, respect. <laughs> imagine I respect two this, times a year. I respect if someone take a shower two times a year. <laughs> <laughs> but what about you, man? <laughs> <laughs> what about you? No, no, come on. <laughs> okay, then it will be every day, right? Every day. Nos acordamos yeah. ahí que hay dos palabras o dos que se parecen. Every day y and every together, day. Uno yeah. que es unido y uno que es separado, ¿verdad? So what is the difference? The difference is that aquí es cada día o todos los días. Uh -huh. Pero unido es un adjetivo. Ya no es esta time expression. ¿Y cuál okay? sería la traducción de unido? Uh, es, por ejemplo, eh, le voy a poner un ejemplo en English. For example, okay. you want to learn everyday English. Or you have everyday clothes. Or you have everyday activities. ¿Ok? Está poniendo antes del nombre everyday. Está nada ah. más señalando que en es, eh, esa... Um, eh, por ejemplo, ese nombre, en este caso hablando de... El inglés de todos los días, o en el inglés, yeah, como un adjetivo, yeah? okay. como un okay. adjetivo, no okay. como un adverbio o como una time expression. Ah, okay. Okay. 
Ok. ¿Sí se entendió? Sí, sí. ¿Sí? Ok. Sí. There we are. So, my partners have a party. Uh, uh, Every monthly partner. is correct. Every month. Each month or monthly. My uh, partners have a party. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo sería? Ahí? Monthly. Monthly. Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go. Next one. My boss writes reports daily. Okay. Daily. Hey, yo solo a Néstor oigo bien emocionado. Yo quiero emoción de todos, okay? I love to listen to Nestor, but I want to listen to everyone, okay? So let's see number four. I have a meeting. Weekly. 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 Great, thank you. Now, weekly. People at work go to conferences generally okay great so let's see and let's submit there we have right 20 yeah. points guys you are doing a good job you are doing a good job 20 so to the 20 yeah 20 points yeah 20 point. yes yes man so let's see and homework number three. Have you have any question about, uh, I'm sorry, did you have any question about homework number two? ¿Alguien How le many? quedó alguna duda? Okay, okay, no, no. Uh -huh. ¿Alguien le quedó alguna no, duda de la tarea dos? No, teacher. No, no, okay. no. Vamos entonces a ver la tarea tres, homework number three. So, can you read the instructions please, Alba? Sería how many? No, instructions, instructions. Ah, las instrucciones. Yes, In please. Instruction. Um, instructions. Fill in the blanks with how much or how many. Yes. How much, how okay, much. so we have to complete using how much or how many. Excellent. So number one. How many? Okay, many, because we can count many, the parts, right? Yes. Parts. So number two. How much? How much? How much? Okay. Number three. How much? How, how much? much? Okay. Number four. How many? How many? Okay. Thank you, Yanida. You want to do it, right? Okay. Number five. How much? Okay, there you are. And we're going to submit. And, okay, 20 points. ¿Alguna pregunta acerca de esta tarea? Do you have any no. question? No? Okay, we have only one minute, guys, to finish. Let's see. And let's complete this one. Multiple choice. Cecilia, please, can you read the instructions? Okay, teacher. Um, here. Choose the correct answer to, com to complete negative sentences. Okay, so negative, remember, don't or doesn't, depending on the subject, right? So, Mario, don't or doesn't? Doesn't. Doesn't. Okay. My friends? Don't. Okay, let's see. Uh, number three, Julio and Pedro? Don't write. Okay. Don't write reports. Good. Number four. My sister doesn't have. Correct. 
Number five, my father. Don't play. Yes, because it, it says an I, right? My father and I. So two people, right? So it is. Don't play. Don't play soccer on weekdays. And then we submit. And there we are. Okay. It's 10 already. Solo vamos a verla. No la vamos a contestar. La 4. Okay. Ni la 5. Solo vamos a leer la instrucción. Para que quede bien entendida. Choose the correct answer to complete negative sentences. Okay. Era lo que estábamos. ¿Sí? ¿Hay alguna pregunta acerca de esta tarea 4? Antes de pasar. No. no. Ok. Entonces solo leemos la instrucción de las 5. Y ustedes la realizan. Ok. Instructions. Multiple choice. Select the word. This is easy. Pero la cuestión es que aquí ya es de diferentes temas. ¿Verdad? De diferentes temas. Tenemos... Eh, la primera acerca de la tercera persona y ahí van a ir viendo ustedes todo lo que hemos aprendido en esta unidad ok para que ustedes se examinen como va correcto ok, okay I stop sharing and okay, just let me remember who was on the session one on one tonight Session one on one tonight was for Delmi, Delmi Isabel. Ok. Entonces, solo voy a ter, uh, tomar la asistencia. I will take the attendance for the third time. And then we will be dismissed. Ok. There we go. Okay. Alba Janet López Ábalos. Present. Cecia Gemima Pérez Fideos. Present. David Alejandro Choto Martínez. Present. David Stephanie Ramos Ramos. Uh, I remember. Delmi Isabel Dera Salguero. Present. Daisy Carolina Sánchez Nieto. Present. Eva Leticia Contreras Argueta. Present teacher. Grecia Tatiana Rosales Campos. Present. Juan Diego López Palacios. Present teacher. Linda Alicia Valladares Argueta. Present teacher. Luz Verónica Trujillo de Urbina. Present. Marco Adonai Villeda Alvarado. Present teacher. Mayra Yanira Alfaro Posada. Present teacher. Melida Isabel Bonilla Ventura. Present. Ok. Néstor Ariel Garzona Asensio. Present teacher. Pablo Alberto Magaña Molina. Present teacher. Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. Present teacher. Roxana Marilín Pérez Ortiz. Present. Ok, everyone. Then, Delmi, are you staying? Yeah, teacher. Okay, great. So have a good night, everyone, and let us meet tomorrow. Okay, remember to do your homework because today we finished unit one. Have a good night good and night. a good rest. Bye bye. 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 Night, 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 everybody. Good night. Good night. No, solo pan dulce comido. Mi amor. Mi amor, ¿puedes desconectar aquí la corriente? I think he's still there. I'm sorry, Delmi, we've got to wait because we have to be just you and me, okay? Tenemos que esperar que salga. Okay, there we go. So now the time is for us. So you can ask any question you want to 
uh, solve, okay? So how can I help you, Danny? Sorry, teacher. <laughs> okay, no problem. Eh, con respecto a las clases, creo que no. Okay, okay. Uh, do you think everything is okay? Hello, teacher. Okay, now I can hear you. Now I can hear you. Aha, uh -huh, we were saying something. I um, Me decía de que no tenía eh, preguntas acerca del, de los temas de la clase. ¿Vamos bien hasta el momento? Sí. Eh, usted hace muy dinámica la clase. Me gusta mucho con usted, la verdad. Okay, thank you, thank you. Ajá. Uh -huh. It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure and I'm I'm sure that you are going to learn, okay? So, well, if you don't have any questions, do you want to practice or do you want to do something? This are your 10 minutes, okay? Son sus 10 minutos. ¿Quiere hacer alguna cosa? ¿Tiene algo que quisiera practicar? O oh. una mm -hmm. mini conversation. Okay? Okay. De las que tenemos en el libro, quisiera practicar ah, una. Sí. ¿Sí? Ok. Podemos practicar la de, permítame, la de Josh y Ben. ¿Estaría bien? Ok. Si ¿Sí se recuerda cuáles son. Josh la and, no. ah, era Jeff. I'm sorry, Jeff. Josh, I said. Ok, this one. Okay, Jeff. you are Ben, and I, in this case, I am Jeff. Pero le vamos a poner nuestros nombres, okay? Okay. Entonces, usted comienza. You start. Teacher. Uh -huh. go, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> well, my name is Carmen, okay? So you can call me Carmen, no problem, okay? <laughs> no problem, no problem. Carmen, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, tell me. Well, I work five days a week, and you? That's great. I work for week. I work for weekdays and some things on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hour when there is so much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay. Well, do you have any question about the vocabulary in this conversation? Um, por ahí vi una palabrita. Each. Each significa cada. Ah. Cada uno o cada hora extra en este caso. Uh -huh. okay. Por lo demás. Está si la encuentra solita, si solo dice, for example, how much money do they pay for each? Sin extra hour. Se refiere a las extra hours, pero entonces ahí sería como por cada una, ¿ya? Yeah? Ok. Correct. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Algún consejo que usted pueda darme para aprender inglés? Ah, the, the more you practice, the better. Ok. Si usted practica, eh, puede, um, puede mejorar. Recuerde que son cuatro skills. Son cuatro... Eh, eh, competences, son cuatro habilidades que tenemos que desarrollar. Entonces, cuando usted, por ejemplo, eh, escucha algo, ¿ok? Usted se mide, ¿entendí o no entendí? ¿Verdad? Entonces, ahí va a detectar usted, mm, ¿qué?
qué es lo que realmente necesito. Por ejemplo, si escucha algo y usted no entendió, ah, entonces tengo que practicar listening. ¿Qué puedo practicar en listening? Oír música, ver películas sin subtítulos, ¿verdad? Eh, incluso eh, hay eh, Google, eh, Google Translate, ¿verdad? Es una buena aplicación en donde, por ejemplo, usted transcribe un texto, por ejemplo, y le pone que se lo lea, ¿verdad? Para que usted haga listening. También puede encontrar libros en video o en audiolibros, ¿verdad? En inglés para que usted pueda escuchar. Ahora, usted tiene que detectar cuál de las habilidades, porque a veces uno dice, ay, es que yo, mire, yo puedo escribir, yo lo puedo leer, pero hablarlo, mmm, ahí sí. sí me cuesta, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿qué es lo que hay que hacer? Yo siempre les digo a todos los estudiantes, a alguien que quiera aprender cualquier idioma, si usted quiere hablar inglés, ¿verdad? O hablar otro idioma, hablar inglés, ¿qué es lo que hay que hacer? Hay que hablarlo, ¿ya? Hay que hablarlo. Y este espacio que tenemos acá es muy importante. Usted abra su micrófono y hable. Hable, participe, participe para que cuando yo escucho, yo los corrijo, si se, si se fija, ¿verdad? Yo los corrijo y va mejorando, va improving, ¿ok? Va improving, pero acuérdese, son cuatro habilidades, ¿verdad? Usted detecta en cuál de todas necesita más refuerzo. Y así hay, eh, hay diferentes actividades que puede hacer. Por ejemplo, si es de escribir que usted tiene el problema, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es lo que tengo que hacer? Leer, definitivamente. Leer para memorizar el spelling, ¿verdad? O memorizar cómo se escribe cada palabra. Es bien complicado, digamos, en cualquier idioma que usted quiera aprenderlo, si, si, dependiendo de su meta. Si usted quiere en su meta hablar, si se mete a la gramática, va a tardar un poquito más. Lo va a lograr, pero va a tardar un poquito más, ¿verdad? Pero si mi meta es hablar, como ahora le ofrecen a uno que, ah, usted empieza a hablar al siguiente módulo. O sea, de primero, el segundo módulo usted está hablando. Y yo, en lo personal, <ríe> pienso que si uno no pone de su parte, aunque le ofrezcan que el segundo módulo usted va a estar hablando, si no ha detectado cuál es su mejor habilidad y cuál es la que menos está desarrollando, no la puede reforzar. Entonces no va a lograr su objetivo en, en el tiempo que usted quiere. Ok, entonces si su meta es hablarlo, hablarlo, definitivamente tiene que practicar hablando, 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 hablando. ¿Y cómo yeah. se aprende eso? Con frases, frases establecidas. Así como yo llevo acá la clase, bueno, todos aquí en, en InsaForb llevamos eh, por frases. Si se fija, hacemos una pregunta y luego le ponemos de qué otras maneras se puede decir. ¿Sí? Y son frases. No vamos palabra por palabra, ¿verdad? Si vemos un vocabulario y luego lo metemos en la misma frase. En la misma frase y a desarrollar esa frase y esa frase y esa frase, al momento ya se hace, con el tiempo ya se hace como práctica. Entonces cuando usted eh, quiere decir algo que te asemeja, ¿verdad? Entonces usted la mete la frase, ¿verdad? La mete y no hay ningún problema y se entiende. Entonces para hablarlo, frases, frases, frases. Para escribirlo. Para leerlo necesitamos gramática, ¿verdad? Gramática, definitivamente. Si me toca a mí escribir emails, por ejemplo, para mis clientes o para los clientes de la compañía, entonces definitivamente yo tengo que aprender frases, pero fijarme en el spelling, ¿verdad? Fijarme en la gramática, cómo se escribe y cómo se conjuga que los verbos, que la, eh, la función de cada palabra en la oración, o sea, ya ese ya es otro rollo, pero hablarlo y entenderlo, lo que le digo, frases, 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 y así como tenemos acá, mire, aquí tenemos, how are you doing, es una frase, ¿verdad? 
Um, por ejemplo, how many days a week? How many days a week? Puede ser, do you work? Do you rest? Do you sleep? ¿Entiende? Lo único que cambia es el complemento, pero la frase es la misma. Lo que a mí me cuesta un ¿Eh? poco, siento, es utilizar los conectores. Ah, ok. Sí. Armar ya la, el, la oración, digamos, unir dos oraciones. Ajá, exacto, porque yo siento que muchas palabras de mi vocabulario, siento que mi vocabulario a este nivel quizás no es muy bajo, pero si usted me pone a escribir un párrafo, ya los conectores son los que me cuestan. Ok. No sé podría ser para eso, leer o escribir, no sé. Ajá, para, los conectores normalmente son adverbios ¿verdad? y preposiciones, ¿ya? Entonces, en este caso, ubíquese, mire, lo que nos ayuda mucho a nosotros en es, eh, los hispanohablantes para aprender inglés es que se asemeja mucho a nuestro idioma, ¿verdad? Si usted lo piensa eh, armando, como decir, un modelo, ¿Ya? Un modelo básico en donde usted incluya los conectores que usted siente que está perdiendo, porque si ya, ya detectó los conectores, quiere decir que ya detecta cuáles son los que le, se le quedan por ahí. Me imagino que and, after, before, eh, eh, with, o sea, es, ese tipo de conectores, ¿verdad?, como ya los identifica, ya los identificó, entonces arme un modelito, un modelo en diferentes temas. ¿okay? En difer para aprender esto, lo mejor es ir por temas, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, ¿cómo puedo expresarme en school, por ejemplo? Si yo soy estudiante, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo puedo expresarme en, en the school si yo soy un maestro? ¿Yeah? Hay diferentes vocabularios, diferentes eh, léxicos, ¿verdad? Que se van armando. Entonces usted agarra, empiece por su propia experiencia. Su propia experiencia en donde usted se mueve, las cosas que usted tiene alrededor, ¿Cómo digo esto? Lo que normalmente digo, o sea, lo, no, no voy a inventar algo que no existe, sino que con lo que yo digo, con lo que yo hago. Por ejemplo, si usted le va a decir a su compañera de trabajo, le va a contar acerca de qué sé yo, que, que ganó una beca o qué sé yo, no sé, acerca de su vida personal, ¿verdad? Pero que tengo una mascota, ¿cómo hablar acerca de la mascota? Entonces, hago mi modelito. ¿verdad? Hago un pequeño modelo y allí incluyo lo que me está haciendo el problema, los conectores. Y poco a poco los va a ir memorizando y mezclando, porque ya después ya se va a pasar de un tema a otro, pero media vez no haga sus pequeños modelitos, tal vez no le va a, a fluir, digamos, el, el cuál usar, dónde usar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí, quizás okay. usted tiene razón empezar desde lo que normalmente nosotros hacemos, como voy a tomar el bus, por ejemplo. O sea, ¿cómo podemos decirlo? Exactamente, exactamente. Para ir avanzando poco a poco. Exactamente, así es. Siempre es bueno empezar por lo que está alrededor nuestro. Eh, el vocabulario uno lo va armando cuando uno es bebé, por ejemplo, de las cosas que están dentro de la casa, las cosas que mamá dice o el más cercano dice, ¿verdad? Entonces esas cosas usted oiga como eh, alguna frase que se yo en la cocina, eh, acerca del dormitorio, por ejemplo, a qué hora se duerme, a qué hora se levanta, arreglar la cama. O sea, son cuestiones bien eh, de diario vivir o every day, ¿verdad? Y ahí usted va armando, ¿y cómo se dice eso? Right? Y ahí después usted va a ir armando un modelito para comentar, para contar una pequeñita historia, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Porque eso es lo que hacen los conectores, convertirlo en una historia, ¿verdad? Una historia exacta. Uh -huh. Exactamente. Ok, teacher. 
Muchas gracias por sus consejos. Ok. Cuenta. Ok, I'm glad, I'm glad to help. I'm glad to help. Y si tiene alguna pregunta o algo, usted me la puede también hacer eh, por el WhatsApp o algo. O si en la clase, ¿verdad? Usted tiene consultas, no temas. Siempre diga, tengo una pregunta. I have a question, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok, tell me. Then let us meet tomorrow. Remember to do your homework and also to participate in the discussion. Ok. Entre en la plataforma y participe ahí en la discusión. Ok. Bye-bye, teacher. Okay, bye-bye, tell me. Good. Have a good night. Okay, thank you. Thank you.